London, a city replete with opportunity, a city with over 8 million people, all working, studying, carrying out their business, no time for themselves, no time for anybody else. Who will help them to slow down? Who will help them to relax? So Mission to the Cities is here. It's happening this year, 2013, in London. There are great ways of proclaiming the gospel. One way is to stand in speaker's corner and to raise and come up on those steps that hundreds and thousands have done in the past when you have a great truth. And from there, you proclaim the great truth. In the beginning, Adventism was about entering a new village and coming up on a stage and calling their best preachers to come and with the Bible, we would be right and they would be wrong. He has given us the Sabbath day to remember because we have all forgotten about the Sabbath. We've forgotten what it means to, to rest. Do you want to be saved today? Because if you do not keep his Sabbath, you will be lost. If you do not understand this Sabbath, you will not make it today. Make this decision to follow God by following his Sabbath. But thankfully, today, perhaps we can find a better way a way that can actually engage with people. Sit back, relax. Okay. So, you're tired? I'm very tired. We are tired! Then what makes you tired? Um, what makes me tired? Going to work, going to university and not getting my eight hours sleep. So as a student, man, like deadlines, assignments, like it just takes a hold on you like, psychologically, man. Day-to-day just... -day stress, getting up, just doing whatever it is for the day, you know, good or bad, it's just, you know, just life in general, I suppose, just kind of wears you down, doesn't it? I want you to imagine with me, what if you had 24 hours every single week, a Friday sunset to a Saturday sunset, where you could just chill out, you didn't have to worry about house stuff, studies, books, you didn't have to worry about running from one place to the other to get to work, where you didn't have to worry about buying or shopping, and you could just totally chill out with the people that you love, okay. come together, doing something together that potentially could heal the world in some little way, right. fashion or form. What does the day sound like that to you? What it do you think of like something heaven. like that? Oh my God, I think I'm going to be so happy if I do that. Yeah, yeah I would love that. Why wouldn't, why, wouldn't, why wouldn't anyone? Do you think like you need up? that? Um, yeah. That sounds what amazing. Would, it sounds like a great concept. If I had, it will be good for me. We believe in this God who, who created this day of rest for us. We call it a Sabbath. And how do I discover the Sabbath? Well, that's what we're here and that's what we're all about. Uh, Are You Tired is one of the many campaigns that are going to take place in London in the next couple of years. Well, the thing is that that is new is the fact that we're not doing what we did before. Okay. So we're talking about Sabbath and rest and enjoying the benefits of having a day off. Are You Tired? is uh, aiming to inspire people to take a day of rest during the week. It's convincing somebody that they, they need the Sabbath, beating them over the head with the text, really necessary. Because if you do that in today's language, most people will be turned off by this. If you try to convince them, it won't work. This sofa that we are sitting on right now is called the Sabbath sofa. And it's not a sofa where you just uh, sit Sabbath, the sofa that represents the rest of the Sabbath. To sit down and just think for two minutes about what rest means, especially in a city of this size, I think is it will have an impact. It's something for them to go back home tonight and think about the value of rest, as this city never stops. There is a way to inspire, a new way to do this, and we call it, are you tired? You're not a machine. Discover the Sabbath.